Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to upgrade Windows 10 to the Creators Update. Upgrading instead of doing a clean installation allows us to uh, keep files, settings and applications. Uh, in other words, it's just like installing any other regular update but with the difference that the Creators Update brings new features and improvements. Although upgrading to the new version of Windows 10 should be in a straightforward process, it is always recommended to do a full backup before proceeding. I'll be leaving a link with the video that shows you how to do a full backup of Windows 10 in the comments below. And so you can watch the video and create your own backup before going through the uh, upgrade process. Technically, there are three ways to upgrade to Windows 10 Creators Update. One is using Windows Update, which is the preferred method. And when the update is available to you, you simply need to open the, uh, the settings up and then go to update and security. And on Windows Update, just simply click check for updates and it should download and install the update automatically. Uh, however, on this version, uh, now you're going to get uh, on a screen where you can choose your privacy settings before uh, doing the installation. And this is a new approach from Microsoft to make it easier for users to know and control what data Microsoft collects when using uh, Windows 10. Then you can also use the uh, media creation tool to install the uh, Creators Update on your device. And to do this, you need to go to the uh, Microsoft Support website and download the tool. I'm going to leave the link on the uh, video description below so you can go and, and, and get the uh, this tool to upgrade your device. And the only thing you have to do is click the uh, download tool now and then save it to your computer. I already did that, so I'm just going to open my downloads folder and I'm going to double click the uh, uh, media creation tool, the exe file. When I click yes, when I click accept, now we have two options. We have the uh, upgrade this PC now or the uh, create installation media uh, for another PC. Uh, if you choose this second option, uh, you will be able to create a bootable media to also do an upgrade or to do a installation of the operating system. And you can also create a an ISO file if that's something that you need. On this video, we're doing an upgrade of Windows 10. So I'm going to be selecting the upgrade this PC now and I'm going to click next. After the uh, media creation tool completed downloading the files, uh, you will need to click accept to continue. Sometimes when you're using the media creation tool and the files to do the upgrade are already downloaded, the, uh, the tool will check for updates uh, before continuing the process and that might get a stock and you will not be able to go through the process. So uh, to prevent that from happening, one thing that is recommended to do sometimes is to uh, disconnect your computer from the internet and continue through the process like that. And then after the installation, you can reconnect and complete all the updates for your computer. Now we're ready to install the uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. And you have to make sure to have the uh, Keep Personal Files and Apps option. And this, not, and this option not only is going to keep files and apps, but also uh, your settings. So basically, just going uh, the installation process is going to be just like a regular update. Uh, you can also click the uh, Change What to Keep to select a different option. And that will help you to uh, upgrade without without keeping your apps but only your files or if you uh, select nothing it's like doing a clean installation of the operating system but if you're doing an upgrade and you want to keep everything as it is on your computer make sure to select the uh, keep personal files in apps and then click next Now when the uh, media creation tool uh, double check that 
everything is ready I'm just going to click install and the um, and the tool is going to take over and complete the installation of the uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. Now I'm just going to click next and on this page you can choose your privacy settings for your device as I pointed out earlier on the uh, video if you're using the um, uh, Windows update to do the upgrade and as you can see now you can turn on and off a number of uh, privacy settings such as location, speech recognition, diagnostics and Taylor experience uh, with diagnostic data and relevant ads. These are all on by default, but you can turn them uh, all off if you want to. And you also get a different description of what's going to happen if you turn them off. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave them all on and I'm going to click accept. And I'm not going to set up Cortana. Actually, I'm just going to click use Cortana. Gonna click next. Here you get some uh, uh, new apps uh, for Windows information. But you already, if you're being already using Windows 10, you already know about them. Gonna click next. And now the uh, uh, Windows Creator update is going to finish. Now I'm just going to log in. And now we're on the uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. As you can see, we're welcome with uh, Microsoft Edge on this page that it gives you uh, some highlights of the uh, Windows uh, 10 Creators Update. But we don't need to see that right now. And let me show you really quick that we're indeed running the uh, Windows 10 uh, creators update as you can see this is version 17.03 and that's the actual version of the uh, uh, Windows 10 uh, creators update now if you're satisfied with your uh, with the installation you can come to storage and then go to this PC and click temporary files and on this page you can actually uh, click this option to uh, delete the uh, previous version of Windows uh, to free up space on your computer. This is right now is going to free up about 7.2 gigabytes. And but remember that once you click remove files, you won't be able to uh, roll back to the um, uh, to the previous version of the operating system. If something is not working correctly, or you just want to uh, go back because you don't like the update. Um, uh, finally, you can also, if you need to roll back, you just go to update and security and then go to recovery and just click the um, here on go back to the previous version of Windows 10 and click get, uh, get started and just follow the on screen directions and that will roll you back to the um, uh, previous version of the OS. But remember that you can only do this. Uh, in the first 10 days after you updated to the uh, Windows 10 uh, Creators Update. After the uh, 10 days, the uh, previous version is going to get automatically erased of your computer and you won't be able to go back to, uh, to a previous version. So that's all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I do thank you for viewing.